So I was driving the other day and I felt like it was popping out of gear. Not fun. I got to doing a little bit of digging and let me show you what I found. Knob off. A little nut. There, get you in there so you can see an action shot. And the boot. Ho oh, ho! Look at that mess. That spring should be under that plastic thing and that plastic thing should be underneath the metal thing because everything's a thing even the springy thing's a thing take that retainer cap off pull this whole mess out It's just broken. Yeah. So let's see what I can do about it. I did put some lithium grease on this. The white lithium grease, like you have on garage door openers and whatnot. Not to attract uh, dirt. When I installed this, actually, it's been five or six years haven't driven it much since then because i just got it licensed but that's a different story but no not much miles on it this cap was new that was new all the guts inside the ball and everything in there were new but i discovered that this inner ring needed to be deburred it was really really sharp right here so i filed it down and maybe i didn't file it far enough so I filed it some more, and now it's nice and smooth. I'm wondering if I may need to flare that up just a little bit when I get a new plastic one. But in the meantime, I picked up this bronze thrust washer from your local Ace Hardware store with the pull-out drawers, all those Hillman fasteners and other maybe other brands. I'm hoping I can dome that so it's roughly the same because if luck would have it the diameter of the holes is darn near the same and it fits the plastic one however has a ridge right there that basically seats that spring and I don't know if it's going to matter or not but for now I'm going to try that and we'll see what happens all right here we go going to use this ball on my trailer hitch <clears throat> as a form set that on there smack it with a hammer I've got other body tools but this one is sufficient for this and I'm hoping this bronze will form just fine without any heat I'm gonna use this impact socket to knock it off of the table and the form and onto the floor Hopefully I don't need a bigger one. Just give it a couple of wallops here and see what happens. Hey, it's moving. See that? Domed a little bit. But it cracked. That's okay. Proof of concept, I guess. Yeah. 
Maybe I'll tap it down with a smaller one here in a minute. I don't even need to do that. There we go. Just like that. That's formed the edges just a little bit. Slowly bending it over. Bronze must be a little brittle. I've never worked with it before. I think I might be better off to find a brass washer of this size. All right, let's see. Fits in there. That was just about what the doctor ordered. Of course, it doesn't fit up there, but you know. Right there. A little bit of lube on that. Let's see what happens. All right, Get some lithium, white lithium grease. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's going to tear up anytime soon. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what happens. Put that guy on. And that one on. Bump the camera. The cap. And there we go. And a quick test. Thread the knob on a little. Thread, 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 thread. And here we go. Can you guys see that? Look at that. Look at that. Reverse. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, eighth, thirteenth. Yeah. If you'll believe that, I got a bridge for you. Shift boot. Lock nut. And if you're wondering about the shift boot and the interior, <clears throat> well, I don't have the interior done yet. All I've got is the shift boot. The armrest cover and part of the driver chair so the rest of it will come
Uh, that's all I've got for now. Aside from maybe a drive if the weather's good. Till next time.